Good morning everyone. I recently had a query about whether we can use Lumion to um, simulate a sanitation booth um, where people can walk through and have some disinfectant sprayed on them and whether we can simulate that kind of effect within Lumion. The comparison that was given to us was done probably in 3D Studio Max which was of course um, quite difficult to use but could we get this uh, a representation of what we're trying to convey to the client using Lumion? And the answer is definitely yes. So I'm going to show you how we do that. What we have in front of us at the moment is AutoCAD. You'll see that the geometry, it's 3D geometry, which is typically what we need to be able to uh, generate a model. Right? 2D won't really work. and there we've got the sanitation booth zooming in you can see some little strip for UV light something representing a nozzle, a frame a ramp to walk up to and a floor importantly the elements are put in layers and each element or type of material is set to by layers so I can easily see which objects are in which layers and to show you in the layer manager here are some layers representing the base the frame, glass, nozzle, ramp and the UV light so it's really a very simple model it's just to bring a concept across it's not a final design could have been a final design in which case we could also have a fusion or an inventor model that uh, we can process in um, a DWG format and take into Lumion 10. Lumion 10.3 um, has got some great advances in DWG management. But this is the baseline, this is what we start with to create the model. Right, so the next step is that we need to do two things. One, um, create a context for the model that we are going to place and to do this I'm going to transform the AutoCAD design into a Revit family and place it in a Revit view. Now in front of you I've already done this where you can see the sanitation booth being highlighted in front of you now and let's just quickly have a look in a camera view what that looks like Right, so there we can see the sanitation booth All right. so how do we get this effect for the geometry that we've created it's quite simple we start off with a new family I will use a metric generic model Now what we need is to input the geometry from the AutoCAD file. That we go through the insert menu, import CAD, we browse to the correct folder and there we choose the model. Now on our settings we say that the layers we specify I know that the import units will be in millimeters and the placement will be automatic origin to origin so 0 to 0 always in this case and I'm going to bring that in and say open this now gives me a list of layers I check none and I say start with the base okay this brings in the base geometry which I can also explode full and what's great about this is it allows me now to assign a material to the base
So, for argument's sake, some floor material. We apply that to the base. And we can see what this is going to look like. We'd like to have these really as unique materials if we don't want them to conform to the rest of the building as well. So what we might even do is say, look, just for this case, duplicate the material. And then we know it's unique. So when we finally bring it into Lumion, it will be individually manipulable. We will be able to manipulate it in individually, uniquely. And then we keep on doing that with the other layers. And we can do that and explode and apply these materials until we've got the full model that we want to bring into our Revit project which is what you can see in the entry level of the building. There is the finished model. Let's quickly see what that looks like. That's when the model has been finished. When all of this is done, go to a 3D view of interest and export to Lumion and export as a Collada file. Once we've done that, it is then available in Lumion. Once we've brought the Collada file into Lumion, Here's where we can see the model. And it's within Lumion that we place a man that looks like he's walking. The sanitation booth is of course within the Revit model. And we can now go and apply some materials to the individual layers that make up this component. Over here you can see we've used a, an advanced glass material to show this nice blue glass there a nice gold material for the frame and a nice tiled floor. Once all of that is done it's then a case of creating a movie. Within this clip, when we edit this clip, we can see that there are two photographs both at the same point. And one mass movie effect which when we edit it, you can see how it runs through the sanitation booth like that. The result of all of that is a man walking through the booth. We had to do one cheat though and that cheat was with the smoke effect. So when we look at that we'll find that under the effects. Now they're not going to have a sanitizer effect. We had a look at the fountains but we found that the smoke effect works the best The source of the smoke can be rotated and scaled. The rotation can happen in three axes. And then by setting the properties, we can change the effect of, say, the density of the smoke. Is it too little or too much? And this is where we can get it just right. and with the UV light to make that self-illuminating. That is also a material effect. There we can 
could see the light. And we get that by applying a material to which is self illuminating. There's the colorization of it. And there's whether it's emissive or not. So that then simulates the UV light. I hope you guys have enjoyed this short video to show you that we can simulate a sanitation booth. We hope that you enjoy using AutoCAD and Revit and Lumion to create some great concepts for your designs. Please let us know here at Micrographics if you need any assistance. And until next time, keep safe.